Hello everybody, and welcome to Ancient Architects Bite Size History. Please subscribe now to keep learning more about ancient history and archaeology. Today's question. Have human remains ever been found inside pyramids? The function of the ancient Egyptian pyramids is something that divides ancient history enthusiasts, and whilst I do believe they did act as funerary monuments for the old and middle kingdom elite, a tradition revived in the 25th dynasty, I do also think they were more than just tombs. They encoded knowledge and symbolism, their very shape and internal layout a specific esoteric meaning and importance. I'm sure you could also measure the person's ego, power and wealth by the finished product. They also ensured the cult of the personality lived on long after their death. When people say pyramids were not tombs, it's generally because of a preconceived notion that a funerary structure is not important enough to expend the excessive amount of energy required to build them. But that's a modern mindset. It's not like the pharaoh himself got his hands dirty. We don't know the mindset of the kings of Egypt or the strength of their beliefs in the afterlife. But this video is not a debate about the function of the pyramids, it's tackling a piece of evidence that is often stated to say pyramids were not funerary monuments. And that is, no human remains have ever been found inside a pyramid. For a start, yes, and contrary to many Arab texts, later Western explorers noted that most of the pyramids did not have a mummy inside. No bones or even fragments, but I did say most, because it certainly doesn't apply to all of them. In the Pyramid of Merenre of the Old Kingdom's Sixth Dynasty, a mummy of a young man was discovered, and it was lying right next to the sarcophagus. The wrappings were typical of the 18th dynasty and not the 6th, and although this could be a later burial in an older structure, we also have to note that re-wrapping of mummies in later history was common, so the body could be that of King Merenre, but it also may not be. In the Steppe Pyramid of Djosa from the 3rd dynasty, a mummified foot was found, and the mummification technique was characteristic of the Old Kingdom. But the foot was not King Djoser's, it was found to be several centuries too young. In the 5th dynasty Pyramid of Yunas, part of a skull, a right arm, some ribs and a shin bone were discovered, and they were found in the looted burial chamber. According to E. A. Wallace Budge, these are believed to be the remains of the king. In Tetis' 6th dynasty looted pyramid at Saqqara, a complete canopic jar with contents was found, as well as an arm and a shoulder, also believed to date to the 6th dynasty and likely belonging to the king. In the most recently discovered 6th dynasty pyramid of Queen Seshashet, we find a skull, legs, pelvis and parts of a torso, again dated to the correct time period. Archaeologists also found gold that was used to cover the fingers of royalty. Next we go to the 6th dynasty pyramid of Pepi I, and as well as a canopic chest, contents intact, fragments of a mummy and wrappings were found. Mummy wrappings were also found in the pyramid of Pepi II. Human remains were also found in a wooden coffin inside the Menkore pyramid at Giza, but these were from a later Roman burial. Arab sources do claim they discovered a mummy inside the original stone sarcophagus, but sadly, this was lost at sea in the 19th century. Finally, we have the bones of the two queens of Amenemhat III, and these were found inside the substructure of the Black Pyramid, each queen being inside their own respective burial chamber. So, human remains have been found inside pyramids, but archaeological evidence shows that every single pyramid had been looted in antiquity, so the chances of finding an intact royal mummy, even by the end of dynastic history, was extremely unlikely. The desecration of bodies and looting of royal tombs was such a worry that 44 royal mummies, including Seti I, Ramesses the Great, Tutmos I, II and III, were moved from their tombs in the Valley of the Kings in the 21st dynasty. 
The later Egyptians knew the risks and they worked hard to hide and preserve the bodies. If it wasn't for them, it's extremely possible that no remains would remain today. So the argument put forward that pyramids were not tombs because there are no human remains inside is firstly untrue. There are some. But also, with our understanding of the real threat of desecration to royal mummies, we really shouldn't even expect to find mummies in pyramids in the first place. They were all looted long before the first western explorer came to Egypt. So, I do believe that kings and queens were laid to rest inside and beneath pyramids. These boxes are clearly sarcophagi. Many funerary objects were also found inside pyramids. The pyramid texts were also clearly funerary. And an absence of human remains doesn't mean they were not once there. The most logical assumption is they simply haven't survived the test of time. Thank you very much for watching this episode of Ancient Architects. If you enjoyed the video, please subscribe to the channel, please like the video, and please leave a comment below. Thank you very much.